Welcome to the software interface of Kernel Migrator for SharePoint tool. There are three ways to add source platform. Firstly, from the toolbar, with these provided source options. Secondly, using the individual icons on menu bar. Or thirdly, by directly selecting the desired source platform. The video showcases the process of these four migration scenarios. 1. SharePoint to SharePoint migration. 2. File System to SharePoint Migration 3. Public Folder to SharePoint Migration 4. File System to OneDrive and Google Drive Migration Select SharePoint Server as source and provide the relevant credentials such as the project name, site address, and the login credentials. Click Yes if you want to add the same SharePoint server in the destination platform or else click no. Once the SharePoint server is successfully added in the source platform, then add the destination server as well with the relevant details. When both the source and destination servers are added, then you can directly migrate the source data using this OPI to option or using this toolbar migration to option. The tool allows to migrate to an existing site or to a new site or even to the site collections by filling up the desired credentials. Add the site and subsite URL by using the Browse button. Select the desired site migration options and expand to check or uncheck the site columns that you want or don't want to migrate. Same way you can select list and library migration options. Check this option to overwrite the existing file. Add the filters based on date range using these parameters and file filter. The tool also allows to migrate permissions and remap users and groups. Once all the migration settings are configured, then you can choose to execute immediately or later at desired time frame using schedule option. Specify the desired time when you want to execute this job and occur on daily, weekly or monthly basis. Once set, click OK to automatically execute this job at the desired time frame. Finally, view the detailed summary of the configured settings before making the final move. Now the job has been successfully created and will start at the scheduled time. Use this, view jobs option to status of the created job. Refresh the job to view the current state of the created job. Once completed, it will display all the details in the job in the job history. Select Windows File System as source and expand to add remote or local computers. Select the respective drive from which you want to migrate the data, files and folders to SharePoint Server. Select the added SharePoint Server from the destination panel. Now select the desired folder of list and libraries to which you want to migrate the source folder. Copy the source folder and simply paste it to the destination folder. Now proceed and verify the added details. Select filters to migrate specific data items from source to destination. Once all the migration settings are configured, then view the summary details to start the migration process. After the migration is completed, you can view that source folder is successfully migration to the desired SharePoint server file. You can migrate public folders data using Outlook Profiles and Live Exchange Server. Select source type as Outlook Profile to add. Archive Mailbox, Office 365 Mailbox as well. You can add an existing Outlook file or even create a new one. To create a new Outlook profile add these desired fields and submit. After selecting the desired Outlook profile, view its summary and click Finish. Expand to open the content of the added profile. Select the folder and use copy operation to it. Now paste it to the destination server folder with required migration settings like attributes, filter option, permissions, etc. Once the migration is completed, view the migrated folder in the destination server. Migrate your offline data from Windows file system to cloud-based OneDrive for business server. To do this, Simply add your OneDrive for Business account including project name, target type, site address, and login credentials. 
the OneDrive for Business account is successfully added. Now copy the file system folder and paste it to the desired destination server folder. Select any of the migration type and vary all the details. Use filters for migrating specific data and then execute the job. After the migration is completed, the source folder is successfully reflected in the destination server. Similarly, you can migrate file system data to Google Drive server as well. View your SharePoint and OneDrive for business object settings from here, permissions, permission levels, groups, workflow etc. You can also download a copy of data from SharePoint server and save it to the file system with desired filters. Use the tool option to configure and save default settings for profiles, upload settings for file system and public folders and so on. Thanks for watching the video.